The confetti has fallen, the nets have been cut here in Minneapolis, and the South Carolina Gamecocks are the national champions in women's basketball. The Gamecocks hand in UConn, Amanda, their first ever loss in a final, and they won by 15. I know all the talk is about Aaliyah Boston, but let's get into some analysis because for me, it was all about Destiny Henderson in this game. I mean, a career night exceptional. She didn't even know she had a career night when she came into the press room after, after the game. I think she just really stepped up in her senior year. That's the kind of moment you want to have. And when you look at this, we got to see the game, game faces on, but after we saw the tears, we saw, of course, all the smiles of celebration, and we saw a lot of dancing. I mean, that's really been the theme for this team is dance it all out, stay loose when you can be loose, be locked in when you can be locked in. What do you think of the mental strength of this team throughout the whole season? Amanda, their schedule was tough. Yeah, and I think that just helped prepare them for this moment. And I think Dawn Staley knows what she's doing. She knows what her players are capable of and how much they can do. And they did it. They, they did what, exactly what Dawn Staley thought they were capable of. This team went 35-2 and two this season, of course. It feels like they beat every ranked team in the country. It was just an unbelievable year, one of the all-time great seasons. And afterwards, as they were cutting down the nets, we got to talk to all of the Gamecock stars. And here's what they had to say. Culture matters. I learned that chemistry matters. I learned that, you know, the majority of your team really has to be locked in. So you need players who have, you know, an incredible, insatiable desire to want to succeed and win a national championship or else it won't take place. It feels amazing. I mean, my people might think I'm out of shape. I might be, but it feels amazing. I mean, God has really just brought us this entire way. Coach Staley, I think her non-conference schedule set us up perfectly for where we are right now. I mean, we've seen a bunch of different offensive and defenses, and we're just able to work through it except for the way this game. To kill. I watched a lot of film from every time we played UConn. I tried to find my spot, see where I was killing at, where I was doing well at, and I just knew all I had to do was kill. At the end of the day, kill, and you're going to come out on top. It doesn't even feel real yet. I mean, this is just everything I've ever been dreaming of, and just this team and the people on this team, is just it means everything to us. And this is what we've been working for, and it's a dream come true to bring it home to South Carolina. I mean, it's a blessing um, for us to be here dancing and, and, and having fun and, and living in this moment. It's a great, a great moment for us that we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. Man, I feel like a proud big sister. I feel like just a proud big sister. They fought through everything. Everybody doubted them, wasn't expecting them to win this game, and they came out on top. And now we're bringing another one back to the state of South Carolina, so I'm just so proud of them. You played in it. What was it like to watch? stressful. It was a lot more stressful than playing in it, uh, but I'm glad I wasn't playing in it. I get to have fun with it, uh, and I'm just so proud of them. Now, when it comes to dancing, no one does it better than Lily Grissett. She's always dancing, whether it's pregame, postgame, celebrations. It's She's always moving, and you got to speak to her one-on-one -on -one in a hilarious interview. Yeah, at first I thought it was going to be like an emotional you know, time for her, but no, it was emotional in, in the best way. Uh, here's my one-on-one -on -one interview with Lily Grissett, and yes, she's got the moves. What is this moment like? You did it. You're here. Second net. It's with somebody. Uh, I mean, this is the best feeling in the world. You know, we put the work in day in, day out. My teammates push everybody every single day. So amazing feeling, you know. You already know what it's like to get that title. What's it like to share this moment now with this team? You better make me cry. Uh, it means a lot, you know. Uh, the young ones put in a lot of work, and they worked so hard to get here, so they deserve it. They deserve it, honestly. You talk about Destiny Henderson. I mean, a leader out there, showed out tonight. Talk about her. <laughs> talk about Henny. <laughs> Henny's the best that's coming through. Henny's the best point guard. I don't care. My point guard versus y'all's. Who y'all got? Henny. All day, every day. Henny. That's all I gotta say. Henny is true to this, not new to this. Remember that. And talk to me about what, how do you guys celebrate? What's the next step here? Next step, take a shower and we lit. Now, while Lily is dancing, on the opposite end of the spectrum is Brie Beal, who is just all about being cool, calm, and collected. We, get to, we did get to see some great emotion from her tonight, as this has been a lifelong dream for her, Amanda. And I caught up with Brie. She goes by Queen Brie. I got to catch up with her after in a one-on-one -on -one about what this moment, being a national champion, means to her. I'm here with Brie Beal, the national champion. Brie, congratulations. 
take us through? I mean, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. It, it's so surreal, you know, dreaming of this when you're in seventh and sixth grade, just watching, you know, people just play for one thing, one goal, and, you know, just to be here and play for that one thing, one goal, it's just amazing. Your dad tweeted something. He showed that picture, your old Instagram post about you dreaming of being here. How does the reality of what you experienced this weekend compare to that dream you had all those years ago? I think just seeing him post that and actually like reread it and just um, just see how much courage I had in myself and then I get to this spot, it's just crazy. When you really encourage yourself and manifest things, you know, they do come true. This 2019 class, you guys had pressure on you the day you arrived on campus. Everyone said they better win. Four and a half, they better win all every title they can think of. You guys have had so much pressure on you. How have you all dealt with that during these three years? I think just realizing, you know, we're here for one reason. So, you know, focus within our, our bubble, our group, you know, have faith in us and, you know, have trust in one another. And I think that really pushed us to this point. And how do you describe the season? You guys beat a lot of good teams. You only lost two games by a combined three points. It's incredible what you guys did this season. Have you had time to even process it yet? I think, you know, with everything, the ball rolling so fast, you really have to, you know, stop process it, process it for, you know, a couple hours, but you got to turn the page real quick. But, you know, we definitely needed those. And lastly, how does Bree Beal celebrate a national championship? I go back. I might go to sleep. I'm so tired. But, yeah, just, you know, enjoy it while I'm here. Enjoy it with the people I'm with. So, yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Everyone talks about Bree Beal being so underrated, so underappreciated. The other player that they pair with her in that conversation is Victoria Saxton. Yeah, I got a chance to speak to her post game in the celebration. I saw her cutting down that net, huge, big, smiley grin. So I had to ask her about it. What was going through your head when that final buzzer went off? Um, I just was like, this is a dream. Like, I felt like I was living the dream. And like, I was so excited. Everybody was so excited. It was just fun. I saw you up there cutting that net down. Huge grin on your face, a big cheesy smile. What does this mean to you? What does this moment mean to you? Um, I mean, it's just, I mean, I've dreamed of this. So like, it's just a big moment and we're just so excited. And I'm, I'm happy that God like blessed us to be here. And as a senior and Destiny Henderson doing her thing as a senior, what does it mean for you guys to go out like this? Um, it means a lot. Um, senior year, you know, you want this to be the year to make everything happen and we did that. And what's the, what was the environment like up there on the stage? Were you overwhelmed? or are you just enjoying the moment? I'm just enjoying the moment. That's all you can do. <laughs> the 2019 class for this South Carolina team has had so much pressure on them since they arrived on campus. One of those players is Letitia Ami here, who has really played so many roles for the South Carolina team. She was point guard at one point this season. I feel like a lot of us have forgotten that. So she knows how to play the one, two, three, four, five. And she's been such a huge role model for this team on and off the court. I got to catch up with LA after the game about her emotions finally being a national champion. LA, you guys, it's been a long time coming, it feels like. Now that you're living in this moment here in Minneapolis, what's going through your mind? It's surreal. I mean, we made this goal in the beginning of the season, and it's been a grind to get there. I mean, the two losses have definitely been tough on us, but look at us now. We made it. Does it make it sweeter knowing you guys literally beat the best of the best? I mean, your schedule this year was crazy. Those are the games that prepare us for these type of moments. We played UConn twice. It would have been three times, um, but we're ready for these big moments. I was asking Zaya and Bree this because your class has had so much pressure on you since literally the day you got to Columbia. Everyone said, OK, here come the titles, here come all that. That's a lot for a college student. How have you guys dealt with all that pressure as a group? We stay together. We don't listen to outside sources. We know what we're capable of. Um, we knew that not winning this is a failure, and a lot of people don't have that kind of mindset. So we're happy we did it. So many people, you hear them win titles, the great champions, they say, I kind of already am thinking about the next one. Are you, do, you, do you allow yourself to live in the moment, or do you kind of think, all right, when do we start preparing for a repeat? I'm going to enjoy this moment. I can't think about anything else other than this win right now. Now, in Don Staley's celebration speech, she mentioned all of the players who don't get as many minutes as others as being really so critical in this national championship run. And one of those players, Amanda, is from Charleston, and she has really paid her dues to become a national champion. Yeah, I mean, she talked about that's what she dreamed of every year with this team. That's what she wanted. And she did give a shout out to her hometown in Charleston. Here's my one on one with Alyssa Westlick. I'm glad I'm meeting you in this moment because just tell me what's going through your head right now. Oh man, I'm at a loss of words right now. This is everything I've dreamed of growing up from the state of South Carolina. This is just a blessing. Hey guys, what kind of message does this send to the state of South Carolina? No, anyone can come out of South Carolina, stay at their home state and home school and just win a national championship. Do what you want to do. 
and I guess when did the moment hit you? Has it hit you yet? Did it hit you when the buzzer went off? It was like a minute and 30 seconds to go in like the fourth quarter. I was like, wow, we're national champions. This is unbelievable. Going up there and cutting that net down, I guess, what does that mean to you as a senior? It means everything. I mean, I've been in this position multiple times in high school but and other previous championships, but this, this is amazing. When you look at your other fellow seniors that went out with the bang, like Destiny Henderson and Victoria Saxon, I guess how proud are you of this team? Man, I love them. We all came into 2018 together. We stuck through it. We knew it was going to be difficult, but we came out national champions. And how did you guys do it? What do you think was the key factor for you guys getting one this year, five years later, after your first one? Believing in ourselves, working it day in and day out, not giving up on each other, and just pushing through adversity. Any message to uh, your South Carolina family? Go Cox! <laughs> We heard Bree Beal say she is tired and she wants to go to sleep. It has been a long season. They played 37 games. They won 35 of them. So many ups and downs. It's such a long road to go from November to the winter in early April. I mean, it's snowing outside here in Minneapolis. That, I mean, I, we don't know what time of year it is, Amanda, but it's been so fun to watch this team and their journey to becoming national champions. As you've watched them through this season, what's been your biggest takeaway about this group? I just feel like they've been committed. They've been focused and you can a lot of teams can say that they're focused on the ultimate goal but this was it this was the day that mattered we talked about it before everything that they've done this whole entire season was for this moment and they proved it and Don Staley was asked a lot after the game does she feel like they're a dynasty just do they feel like they are in the top echelon of the game now she's Aliyah and them said yeah we're a dynasty Don said all right dynasty means a different thing for me but you have to think that this South Carolina team is now proven that they are in that elite group officially. They've won two. They've won all these other conference titles. They are here to stay. And you really felt like, especially beating UConn in this championship game, it was a statement to the rest of women's college basketball. It definitely held a lot more weight, especially ending UConn's streak in the national championship. I mean, if this doesn't make a statement, I don't I don't know what will. Yeah, so much history was made here in Minneapolis at the Target Center. I mean, between Don Staley, this team ending UConn's big streak, it's a lot to take in. For all of our coverage here at the National Championship, head on over to our website at WACH.com. It has been so fun covering this tournament. It's been so fun being here in Minneapolis. And that's it, Amanda. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> Let's go to baseball season. Vereen, we'll send it back to you in the studio.